My name is Ben Wilkoff, and I'm the director of personalized and blended learning in Aurora Public Schools. I want to become a Google certified trainer because I have a deep belief in modeling what you want for others. If I show what it means to build a deeply connected community of educators, then it is easier for others to do the same. If I show how learning with the G Suite tools meets more personalization and opportunities for kids, then more educators in my own district and around the state will see it too. If I create open and transparent resources that document my own learning, then all of the educators in these sessions, not to mention those who watch it on YouTube later, will benefit. My googly path started as I embraced Blogger with my classes in 2004. I saw that my students' writing improved when they had an authentic purpose and audience for that writing. As one of the first owners of a Google Apps domain in my district in 2006, I saw these tools could come together to help kids. As I have moved into leadership across three of the largest school districts in Colorado, I have brought this vision and student focus with me. In each of the sessions that I hold, I'm reaching out to other teachers and leaders to create an ongoing conversation about how we fundamentally transform our expectations for kids. It's about creating the next generation of learners who can problem solve and collaborate together using the best tools available. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to embed Twitter hashtags into new Google Sites. It moves pretty fast, so watch close. Go to bit.ly slash awesome tables tags. It'll open up a Google spreadsheet that'll walk you through the process. First, we need to grab a copy of the Twitter archiving Google spreadsheet called tags. We're using tag 6.1. Then we need to decide on our Twitter archive that we want. We're using EdChat. Then use the tags menu bar to allow for both Twitter and Google access to grab the tweets and put them into the spreadsheet. Then run the archive and proceed to step number two, which is to make a copy of the archive two and template sheets and place those into our Twitter archive. These will be used later in order to actually view the tweets in a visible and visual way. Now we're back over in our Twitter archive and we need to do a little bit of maintenance. We need to grab the sheet ID and paste it into this import range formula and allow access so that all the tweets can come into this well-formatted sheet. Now we can open awesome-table.com in order to create our new awesome table. We're going to select the same archive sheet that we have been working within and select copy of archive 2 to point it toward. From there, simply make some modifications to the advanced parameters using our template in order to show the tweets correctly. Then copy the publish link and go over to new Google Sites, creating a new site if you'd like, or you can edit one that you've already got. We're creating an EdChat archive within this Google Site, and we're going to use that URL that we copied from Awesome Table, making it the size that we want it to, and then publishing our work so that we can view it afterwards. That is how you embed tweets within the new Google Sites. Thanks for watching.